Department of Defense, and NASA, amongst other things. Why? I was in search of suppressed technology, um, you know, laughingly referred to as UFO technology. I think it's the biggest kept secret in the world because of its comic value. Um, but it's a very important thing. We've got old age pensioners can't pay their fuel bills. Um, we've got countries being invaded um, to get award oil contracts to the West. And uh, meanwhile, secretive parts of the secret government are sitting on uh, suppressed technology for free energy. So how did you go about trying to find the stuff that you were looking for in NASA, in the Department of Defense? Well, uh, I assumed that although it's part of a secret government project, there must be military ties. Um, I'd read 400, 400 expert and witness testimonies, um, ranging from civilian air traffic controllers through military radar operators, all the way up to guys that were in charge of whether or not to launch nuclear missiles. So it's a very credible people. Uh, all of these people had said uh, that there is, there are UFOs, they are alien. Um, we're using anti-gravity and reverse engineered technology that came from captured UFO crew. We're using anti-gravity? Yeah. Okay, so how did you go about hacking into the computers to find what you were looking for? Well, unlike the press would have you believe, it wasn't very clever. Um, I searched for blank passwords. Um, I wrote a tiny Perl script, the Perl language, that tied together other people's programs that searched for blank passwords. So you could scan 65,000 machines in just over eight minutes. So, you, so you're saying that you found computers which had a high-ranking status, administrator status. Yep which hadn't had their passwords set. They were still set to default. Yeah, precisely. And in some cases, it was thousands of machines because they had a, an image rather than install Windows off a CD in every machine. You blat it onto an image, stick the image in all the machines, and every single machine has a blank local administrator password. So, find inside NASA? Uh, one of these people was uh, a NASA photographic expert, and she said that in Building 8 of Johnson Space Center, um, they regularly airbrushed out images of UFOs from the high res satellite imagery. And using the same blank password hunting technique, I got down to Building 8, um, got a few blank passwording machines there, and what she said was there, was there. There was fil uh, folders called filtered and unfiltered, or processed and raw, or something like that. Um, I got one picture out of the folder, bearing in mind this is a 56K dial-up, uh, also in a, a NASA proprietary image format, not a GIF or a JPEG or anything. So 